What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another amazing video. I am not an OT. Eight thoughts. So happy you're all here. Thank you very much. And in today's video, we are going to look at 10 new things that are coming to Grand Theft Auto's Definitive Edition Trilogy. I messed that up. It's like a weird name. I don't know. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, the Definitive Edition. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. And usually I'm not one to get excited or look forward to a remastered or a remake of a previous title, but this time I actually am looking forward to the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy definitive edition remaster because they have actually done an awesome job they made a lot of changes that needed to be changed to bring this game to a 2021 level and let's be honest we're talking about rockstar here rockstar doesn't really miss they don't miss they're always hitting home runs and almost every single game they produce is top notch whether it be the gameplay itself or the story mode the sparkle the shine the luster the polish their games kick ass unfortunately i mean we're still sitting here waiting for grand theft auto 6 but in the meantime, this will do very well. And also the reason why I'm looking forward to this is this is a 20 year old gaming compilation. Like the first game out in 2001, Grand Theft Auto 3. And then I believe Grand Theft Auto Vice City came out in 2004. And then it was like another few years. And then Grand Theft Auto San Andreas came out. And there is, you know, dude, now that I say that back to me, they release a new game almost every other year. When the hell was Grand Theft Auto 5 released? 1964 maybe perhaps? I don't know. Boom, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button for dad jokes. So they used to release a lot of games is what I'm saying. But let's get into this video. There's a lot of things that a lot of other videos and a lot of channels may have missed about what is actually awesome about this new game coming out, which it is a new game to me. It's an old game, but it's a new game. So it's old, but new, but different, but still same, same, but still different. But there's a lot of things that other channels may have not mentioned. So in this video, enough is enough. Let's get into these big changes that are coming that got my tip wet. First of all, enhanced visuals, with improved graphics and fidelity across all three games, including higher resolution textures from characters to weapons, vehicles to roads, and much more for greater detail. A complete rebuilt lighting system with enhanced shadows, reflections, and more, which is fantastic. I love the ambiance of these games. I love the open world concept. They're my favorite types of games. And you know, the graphics and the lighting and the weather and just the overall visual appeal of the game helps you to be absorbed into the world and feel like you're actually there. Improved water and weather effects, enhanced detail in trees and foliage. And you can see the improved water and weather effects in the foliage from the trailer itself. I mean, it just looks drastically different. It's not even close. Increased draw distances to provide a new level of depth and definition, which is fantastic. You know, you don't want the pop-ins when you're driving around in all awesome. boom. Empire State Building pops up right in front of your face. You don't want that. No, you don't. Boom. Dad joke. Updated player experiencing, making it easier than ever to play these classic games, including this is the best thing. And I know a lot of people are hyped about this. I'm sure you've heard this before. A GTA 5 style controller layout. Now, perhaps a lot of you who are watching this video have never even played these games because they're 20 years ago. Damn. You gotta be like in your 30s or 40s to actually have played these games when they first launched because I don't think you'd have a mom buying these kind of games when you're 10 years old because you didn't know when these games launched. It was a huge, huge, huge controversy. They were too violent and oh my God, gaming's gonna cause people to go around and carjack people like you were CJ or Carl and going around and riding your bicycle over pimps and prostitutes and hookers and then taking you to the back alley and doing your business with them. Necrophilia. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Smash the like button, subscribe to that joke. Improved gunplay and targeting controls with upgraded drive by controls in GTA San Andreas. Yeah, because you don't have the drive by controls till San Andreas. They actually, you know, games were innovative back then. The things actually changed from game to game. But we're getting dry out here, ladies, like a 75 year old woman. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Smash the like button, dad joke. There's only so many new tricks you can do in the world of gaming. And unfortunately, a lot of it's been done. But we're going back to the past. Sounds awesome. Updated mini maps with enhanced navigation allowing players to set waypoints to destinations. Fantastic. The ability to immediately restart a failed mission. In the old games, it was a real big jumping through hoops and whatnot if you died on a mission and you had to go back and restart. And it was highly annoying, man. So what they've done is they pretty much have taken what the best things they've learned over the last 20 years of developing open world Grand Theft Auto games and enhanced this game with graphics and all the new weather and the foliage and also enhanced it with what they've learned with the controls and what makes a game more streamlined and fun and better for the user interface. I mean, everything you could ask for for a remake 
a remaster. It's not a remake per se, it's a remaster. It is sort of a remake, but you know, it's gonna be the same missions, but it, it's gonna feel like a completely different game, I assume, for most people. And also for those who never played this game, it looks amazing because they've actually stayed true to the artistic design, the artistic integrity of the original game. The things that they're doing, it looks good. It sounds like it's gonna be great. Another thing which is awesome is it's free on Xbox Game Pass. It's free on Xbox Game Pass. I have Xbox Game Pass on my PC. I'm gonna get all these free games. There's gonna be so many games to play. Forza is coming out, free to play. Halo, Master Chief, Infinite, freaking online multiplayer free on Halo Game Pass. Day one launches. Now I got this to play. I mean, holy Toledo, ladies and gentlemen. It is a full package in my hands here. Boom, that's what she said. Smash like my subscribe that joke. I'm excited about it. I'm positive about it. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. If you've never played these before, you gotta play them. They are awesome. It is what is built up so many games so many people have copied this model what grand theft auto has done what rockstar has done i think rockstar is the go-to game developer in my opinion i think rockstar has never really missed they've always just hit home runs they don't miss as they say so anyways hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe if you're new here it's going to be an awesome experience trust me your life will be made so much better by subscribing and if it isn't made any better just unsubscribe it's free there's no contract this is not some kind of like you know two or three year cell phone deal you can just get the hell out anytime you want love you guys thank you as always for the support and i'll see you guys on the next video you take care now bye bye